I'm here to talk about styles. It is a great way to instantly format a paragraph or a character. If we click inside here, we see Tigers is heading one. We go into here, we click on heading one, it does it. If I accidentally click on it here, they highlight a letter, I'll undo. But if I just click in there, uh-oh, I don't like that. I click on normal. I want to show you how to customize the styles, create new ones. So if I click in here, I got these three things here. You can revise them to change the color, font, spacing, and more or you can create a new one. I'm going to do a modification first. What I will do is go in here, change it to what I want, like let's say a 20 point a burgundy, and let's say I want a different font in here. I could choose Arial. So we've got that. What I want to do is to change all of the captions through here to look the same. It's pretty easy to do. You take your mouse, we're on the Home tab, go into here, expand the group. It shows Heading 1 here, which is what I'm using. I click in the drop-down arrow. I click on Modify. I can modify it so all new documents will do that. I only want it in this document here. You got the quick style list up here. So what I'm going to do, it's highlighted. Um, I probably should have highlighted all the things in here. I'm going to go into here, modify. And it's showing what I have in here. So what I want to do is to update this. You can do things with numbering other things here. But it's showing the original style here. What I could do here. Um, I could say style is based on other styles. You would always want normal for the following. I'm saying OK here. I go here, new style, style inspector, manage styles. I'm pulling this over to the right. And I'm docking it. So if I go into here, I could save this as a new quick style. And if I do this, I could call it Tiger Caption. And it's going to show how it looks here. So I've got Tiger Caption. However, I wanted to change this to be that. So to do this, I go into here. Uh, I could say update tiger caption to match selection. I don't. That doesn't always work. I don't remember everything. I can remove a style. I can revert back in here. But I go into here. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do the format painter which is one of my favorite things. This is in here. This is heading one. I'm going to go back into heading one. I'm going to say update heading one to match selection. I just, oops, undo. Okay, now it's matching. And you can see how they all change throughout. If I don't want this, I could just right click 
inside there I have removed it next thing I want to talk about you could do a character selection like I had these words here I want them the Latin names to appear italic I'm just using a very small font I'm going to zoom this up a bit and let's say I'm using a different font such as Arial. So we have that. I'm going to highlight a new word. I want to create a new character and I have this thing here. I click inside here, new style. It's going to be called Latin name. Style type, character. And I leave this the way it is. Um, and I say, okay. So it shows Latin name. So if I have a Latin name in here, let's say hypothetically this is the Latin name. I click there. Let's say this is a Latin name. I click there. As you can see, it's fairly easy. Experiment and you will do fine.